it's Cyber Week, or it feels like it's been Cyber Week for weeks and weeks and weeks. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, these can be a blessing or a curse. It can be an excellent opportunity to save a bunch of money, stock up on essentials, get gifts, or they can just be an excuse to waste money on things you really didn't need and the savings wasn't even that great to begin with. Amazon has some excellent skincare deals for Black Friday going on now. I'm gonna be sharing with you a roundup of the deals that I think are worth it on products I'm I'm recommending all the time in many of my videos and the deals are actually worth paying attention to. Now, if these are products that you already have, you don't really need, don't buy them just because they're on sale. Amlactin is a brand of moisturizers I recommend a fair amount whenever I'm talking about dry rough skin texture, rough and bumpy skin, or people looking to improve the appearance of crepey skin because ammonium lactate is the main ingredient in Amlactin products. It's a salt of lactic acid. Acid. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that can help improve moisture retention and skin's outermost layer having a subtle firming effect, but it also improves the natural exfoliation processes, smoothing out the skin surface. Excellent for rough and bumpy skin. Now, ammonium lactate, lactic acid. At lower percentage strengths, it works on the epidermis, but at percentages greater than 12%, it actually may help improve collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin, improving dermal thickness as well. So it's an excellent option for people looking to firm the skin. You know, it will not replace volume loss in the skin by any means. So Amlactin offers a variety of different options, some at the lower percentage strengths for people just looking for improving the appearance of the surface of the skin, the epidermis, moisture retention, skin smoothness. These lower percentages are great if you have, say, keratosis pylorus, but you're very sensitive. The higher percentages are a great option also for keratosis pylorus, but for people looking to rejuvenate the appearance of sun damage on on the body and to firm the skin. So amlactin intensive healing uses 15% lactic acid. So this is gonna address the epidermis and the dermis. It also has ceramides and glycerin. All of amlactin moisturizers are discounted right now. This one in particular, as of the filming of this video, is 21% off, free of fragrance. Speaking of things that with long-term consistent use can improve collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of pursuing the active forms of topical vitamin A, whether it be a prescription topical retinoid, over-the-counter adapalene, retinol OL, or in this case, retinaldehyde. Retinaldehyde is a active form of topical vitamin A for which your skin just has to do one step to get it to its active state, and it can and does do that. And with ongoing consistent use, that can then help to stimulate new healthy collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin, as well as improve epidermal turnover, smoothing the skin surface and help in clearing out maybe uh, some hyperpigmentation, brightening up the appearance of like age spots. So it can improve the appearance of aging skin. Retinaldehyde, like retinol, tends to be gentle, easier to tolerate than say a prescription tretinoin. Beauty of Joseon, it's a Korean brand. I have recommended their retinaldehyde eye serum in many videos. This product not only is marketed for use around the eyes to improve the appearance of the signs of aging, around the eyes like fine lines, wrinkles, age spots, but it also can be used to the entire face. It's free of fragrance. It also has niacinamide, an ingredient that is likewise helpful for dark spots. Niacinamide works to get in the way of transfer of pigment packets from the pigment producing cells, the melanocytes, to the neighboring keratinocytes. Niacinamide is also very good for the moisture barrier and it's an antioxidant. Speaking of moisture barrier, this product is also formulated with ceramides, lipids found in skin's outermost protective layer and applying those uh, to the skin can help improve lipid production, ceramide production in the skin, improving barrier function. Free of fragrance. Right now, it's 32% off. So great time to try this one out if you were eyeing it or repurchase if it's one of your favorites. Speaking of Korean skincare, this is a new to me as of 2024 Korean skincare favorite. It is the Abib Barrier Jelly. This is amazing for the moisture barrier. It is a thick, rich barrier jelly, as the name implies. It has glycerin. It has rice ferment, which is loaded with antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds. It's a pretty no-nonsense ingredient list. There's not a whole lot going on. There's no niacinamide. So I know some of you find that niacinamide burns and stings. This does not have that. It really doesn't have any call-out signature ingredient, but the overall formulation is not only super hydrating, but it helps to provide almost like second skin. It's marketed as a jelly 
mask. I like to use this as the final step in my nighttime skincare routine. You've heard of the moisture sandwich technique for using a topical retinoid or retinol active form of vitamin A, where you put a moisturizer on, you put your vitamin A active, and then you put another layer of moisturizer on in order to help cut down on dryness and irritation. This would be an excellent top layer moisturizer. I don't recommend using it underneath the active form of vitamin A because it is a barrier product, so it will limit penetration of that into the skin. But using it as a top coat is excellent. It's also really good if you live somewhere with cold winter winds, you deal with wind burn. Cheeks are especially vulnerable territory for that. They're highly vascular, and so you can get a lot of redness, stinging, heightened sensitivity. Putting a thin layer of this barrier jelly to the cheeks at night before you go to bed can really help kickstart the barrier recovery process. At nighttime, when we sleep, our skin is likely to lose more water in comparison to throughout the day. There's increased blood flow to the skin surface, allowing for more epidermal, transepidermal water loss, more dryness, more irritation. This is an excellent option. Now, a word of warning, when you put this product on, it is sticky. It feels like you have a tacky film on the skin. It's comfortable, it's not greasy, it's not heavy, but just be aware that if you put this on and then you go lie down immediately, it's going to be sticky and get on your pillow. So give it some time to really sit on the skin surface before you get into bed. It will sink down, it will dry down, just take some time. It's almost as if that whole process of increased transepidermal water loss that normally leaves you looking well like you just woke up didn't even happen. I've been really impressed with this. It's also really good on the delicate skin of the neck or you can just use it to irritation prone areas, again, like the cheeks, for example. 33% off, Cause RX. Okay, I always have to mention their snail mucin power essence. I feel as though I bring it up anytime I do like an Amazon favorites video because they often have really good deals on this holy grail product for me. So snail mucin, I find for me works very well. As a matter of fact, I like using it as the first step in the moisture sandwich technique that I just explained. So I like to use that, then my uh, tretinoin, and then some other moisturizer on top. In this case, the barrier jelly is what I'm using right now. Snail mucin for me is not only hydrating, but I see an improvement in skin elasticity when I use it consistently, especially this CauseRx Snail Mucin Power Essence. It's one of my all-time favorite, most repurchased products. It's on sale, but um, I brought this up in my gift guide. They have a glass skin starter set, which is a great deal if you already know you love this product and it is a staple in your routine because you get two bottles of the Power Mucin Essence. Plus you get a sample of their retinol, which I've never tried before, but that starter set is on sale for Black Friday, 22% off. Another frequently repurchased product for me is the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch, the original especially. So these are hydrocolloid pimple patches, which I recommend for people who get breakouts because the pimple patch is flexible, thin, lightweight. It covers the pimple. Importantly, it provides a barrier to prevent picking, which is major. So many people struggle with skin picking. When you pick the acne, however, it makes it almost impossible for the acne treatments that you are on, using, etc., to actually work, and it puts you at risk for hyperpigmentation and scarring, and it opens the possibility for introducing bacteria into that compromised skin, leading to a secondary skin infection like impetigo. So these are great in that regard. They also provide some cosmetic camouflage, which in my opinion is superior to trying to cover a pimple with makeup. If you try and cover a pimple with makeup, it often makes it more obvious because the makeup starts to get flaky and dry on the pimple and it's just like, whoa, should have just left that alone to begin with. These on the other hand do a decent job providing some cosmetic camouflage. They're super comfortable to wear. You can wear them while you work out. They stay on. You can wear them overnight. I, When I wear them, I forget that I even have them on. Now, I don't really deal with acne breakouts so much. So you may be wondering, why is this a frequently repurchased product for you then? Because let me tell you, these work really well on mosquito bites. The minute I get a mosquito bite, I put one of these on and it just takes the itch away instantly. It allows me to forget it's there. I don't scratch, which is key because scratching makes the itch of a mosquito bite last longer. And again, opens you up to the possibility of introducing bacteria into that bite, leading to a skin infection, hyperpigmentation as well. So I love them for that. I was going through a lot of them over the summer. Now, a product that I also discovered this year, really love, um, finished up a couple of weeks ago, it feels like at this point, is the Causer X Peptide Booster Serums. This is such a great value at baseline. It's a fragrance-free um, toner, serum, lightweight 
fluid that you would apply as a first step in your skincare routine after cleansing. It has a variety of different peptides in it, which are great for hydrating the skin, improving skin smoothness. Some peptides may um, potentially help ward off hyperpigmentation, it may have inflammatory, anti-inflammatory effect. Now, more research is needed to rigorously substantiate those claims, but as cosmetic ingredients, they certainly can benefit the appearance of the skin and they can be expensive. Peptide products can be pricey. This one is a great value at baseline. I also like that it has a variety of amino acids, which are part of skin's natural moisturizing factors. So it's really helpful for the skin barrier. And it is affordable at baseline, but discounted for Black Friday. So if you have watched my reviews on that product this year, you've seen me use it in my vlogs, bring it up time and time again, and you've been curious about it, try it out when it's on sale. You guys know a product category will say that I am constantly advocating for in a variety of different scenarios, whether it be chap lip, dry eyelid, chafing, using it around your nail folds to improve nail health. It's going to be a petrolatum ointment. And we always get into this battle of the petrolatum ointments, right? There's Vaseline brand. There are the generic versions of Vaseline, like just go into your store. Even the Dollar Tree has one. And then there are the niche petrolatum ointments like CeraVe healing ointment. I adore. Aquaphor healing ointment. Um, and this year I noticed that Aquaphor healing ointment, the price of it has gone pretty steep. And I ended up needing to replenish my petrolatum ointment um, supply because if you don't watch my vlogs, maybe you don't realize this, but I use big scoopfuls of petrolatum ointment all over my feet, my ankles, my lower legs. Really, really helpful for eczema down there for me. Uh, for I get a lot of friction on my ankles. That makes the skin there dark and discolored. This helps with that. And then for my feet, it's really great for cutting down on callus and just helping my feet look smooth, hydrated for an aesthetic benefit. And I went to purchase the CeraVe healing ointment in the tub. This is a convoluted backstory, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I went to purchase the CeraVe healing ointment in the tub from Amazon. And then for whatever reason, the postal service lost it. Amazon refunded my money, fortunately. Um, and I was like, well, what am I gonna do? So I just went in there and I saw that Amazon Basics has a healing ointment that the ingredient profile is very similar to Aquaphor healing ointment. So I was like, hmm, might as well give it a try, see how this compares to name brand Aquaphor healing ointment. Let me tell you, it works the same. So if you're a fan of Aquaphor healing ointment and you're using a lot of it, you know it's gotten pricier, try the Amazon Basics one because it's really inexpensive. And right now it's under $7 for a huge tub. So you need something that is a effective, but affordable. This is a great option and it's on sale. Okay. Free of fragrance, of course, similar to Aquaphor healing ointment. Now a note about Aquaphor healing ointment, a reservation I would have about it is that it's got lanolin in it, which is an ingredient that you can become allergic to. So just keep that in mind. If you're allergic to lanolin, Aquaphor healing ointment and its generic versions, we'll say are off the table, but it's a great option for cutting down on dry skin, chap lips. It's a great lip balm. Um, you name it. There are endless, endless, endless uses for a petrolatum ointment. All right, now the last product is not in the skincare beauty realm directly, but indirectly. Leading an active lifestyle, staying active, keeping your body moving is vital. It's vital for your health. Remember, skin is not just this cosmetic draping that we have, okay? It serves a function. It is a barrier to the outside world and it really provides a window to what is going on internally and you wanna keep it healthy long-term. Staying active is an important part of that. Being active improves circulation, it improves healing, healing time, immune function, et cetera, et cetera. But it can be challenging to work in movement, especially if you have like a desk job, you're sedentary most of the day. Let me tell you, this year I um, was influenced to try a walking pad under the desk and I love it because it's so easy for me to achieve the 10,000 steps, which, you know, you don't necessarily have to get 10,000 steps. That's not like some sort of magic goal, but I do make it a goal for myself to get 10,000 steps a day, most days, you know, I don't be myself up if I don't, but I do make that a goal just so that I'm not falling into the trap of being sedentary all day. But that being said, it can be challenging depending on what type of work you're doing. If you're at a desk job, um, you can't always just get up and walk around. This, however, has been a game changer. I bought it I think back in March and I use it every single day. So it's really sturdy. It holds up well. It's the brand Ya Good. And what I like about it is that, first of all, it comes fully assembled. So you don't need to put together some kind complicated piece of equipment. That's huge. Second of all, it is easy to move around. It's got these wheels in the front. And
and it's really compact and thin. So when you're not using it, you can roll it away, store it like behind a couch, under the bed, out of sight. So it's great if you live in a small apartment, you don't have a lot of space. Highly, highly recommend it. Right now, it is 25% off. So that's a great deal. Under $100, that's a really good deal, okay? So if you have seen me recommend it in different videos, you've been eyeing it, this is probably the best to deal on it I have seen yet. So those are my Black Friday Amazon Rex. I hope this video was helpful to you all. If you're here in the US, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving um, and I hope you guys are all having a great week. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.